I don't know what's going on inside there, but somebody made a mistake, he said to Jared Bell of USA Today. I think when you look at the whole situation, you try to figure out how you want to get away from things that are there. I had a different story where they had made a decision. He obviously, they never would have gotten rid of. I still don't understand how New England let him get away. I still don't understand that. Do you agree with Joe Montana's comments? Yeah, I do. I really, really do, especially now. It made more sense, even though I, dis I would have disagreed with it then. It made more sense if you definitively have somebody like a Jimmy Garoppolo who you thought to be the quintessential heir apparent. Bill Belichick wanted to make that move. Obviously, Robert Kraft usurped his authority, made sure that Tom Brady didn't go anywhere. They went to three straight Super Bowls, won two of them. We know the story. And so as a result of that, you could sit up there and easily side with Robert Kraft in this particular situation. But now we fast forward to 2020. And in 2020... If you're Bill Belichick, you do not have a quarterback. All you need to know is they just re-signed Brian Hoyer. I mean, think about that for a second. I mean, Stidham, Stidham, you got him. I, I mean, who is he? Okay. I mean, come on now. If there was Jimmy Garoppolo that was there, it would make sense. Just like you might not, you might have disagreed when San Francisco was willing to lose Joe Montana, but you had Steve Young. The fact that New England doesn't appear to have someone definitive that they penciled in as the heir apparent to Tom Brady, that a new era indeed has begun with this particular individual. Why not just sit up there and say, look, man, we're going to ride this wave. This dude says he wants to play two more years. Let's make sure we get the, the requisite pieces around him so we can facilitate his success to the best of our ability. The fact that Bill Belichick, and I'm putting it solely on him, because remember, Robert Kraft called me the day that Tom Brady released this stuff on Instagram and said right during this show, he called me on the phone and said, if Tom Brady wanted to stay, we would have worked it out. He didn't want to stay. And there's only one reason Tom Brady didn't want to stay, because he didn't feel like he was wanted enough by Bill Belichick. And if you're Bill Belichick, why would you not want him at this point unless you're still salty over the fact that you had to let go of Jimmy Garoppolo a few years back? It really makes no sense. So I do agree with Joe Montana. Well, in Joe Montana's case, Stephen A., as you mentioned, Steve Young was widely known not only as the best backup in football, but probably one of the best quarterbacks in football before he ever really got a chance over an extended period to show it. Everyone knew it, right? His talent was obvious, and Steve Young was my favorite player to watch back then. He was so much fun to watch. Montana, they decided, probably had a year or two left, and he did. He had, at, at the Joe Montana level, he had a year left and then still enough to help his team to the playoffs the following year, and then he was done, and they determined that Steve Young, even if he was never going to be as great as Joe Montana, because who was, had 10 years in front of him, so they chose the 10 over the one or two, which is what Belichick tried to do with Garoppolo and Brady. Understand me, Garoppolo was never going to be likely as good as Tom Brady, but at that moment in time, Belichick made the determination Brady's got a year or two left and Garoppolo's got 10 in front of him. I'll take 10 over two and look what Garoppolo did. So at this point, Joe Montana is saying, I don't understand it because Brady successfully engineered the ouster of the guy who was going to take his place. Now what do they have? I'll tell you what, really what we're looking at, Garoppolo was more special, I think, than people realize. I think he's proven that with San Francisco. When he wasn't playing, they didn't win at all. When he is playing, they almost never lose. They had a 10-point lead on Mahomes in the Super Bowl in the fourth quarter, for crying out loud, most recently. Now there's nothing there. Garoppolo's more special than people realize. And at this point, I'll bet you Ernie Adams believes Tom Brady is less special than people think at this point. You know, as we've been going through this, first of all, we won't know who made a mistake until the season plays out. That's number one. Um, I, I tend to want to give Bill Belichick a little more credit as far as having some type of succession plan or navigating his way through Tom Brady not no longer being there. Um, it remind, it, It's a difference. It, the, the difference is Bill O'Brien and DeAndre Hopkins had uh, um, obviously some situation with their relationship that maneuvered a player in his prime, one of the best at his position to another team, um, we, we can harshly critique that move. 
we can't harshly critique a 42-year-old quarterback being let go by his former team after accomplishing so much. We can get into the relationship with Bill Belichick and Tom Brady, and obviously there's a rift there some, some type of way. It's not all good between those two guys. But to sit here and say – um, somebody made a mistake. I mean, we don't know that. What, what if Tampa doesn't have a good season with Tom Brady at quarterback? Did they make a mistake? Um, what if Bill Belichick in, in New England goes and wins 11 games and still doesn't win a Super Bowl? Like, we're measuring these guys based off the success that both of them has had a major part in creating. So to, say, to sit here today and say that someone made a mistake, we don't know what Brady's going to be this year. Brady May, this may be the cliff that Max has been trying to um, talk about for the last three years, like Stephen A. says. Or this may be one of those situations where you look back and say, well, Tom Brady had juice and look what Tampa did. And then we look at New England. What if Jared Stidham plays well? We don't know that. I, I, I just tend to give Bill Belichick more credit than people want to well, give him at this point by saying he made a mistake and he's arguably been the greatest coach of all time just like we talk about Tom Brady being the greatest quarterback of all time. Well, Swagoo, I mean, just like uh, Tom Brady has thrown interceptions from time to time, Bill Belichick has made some mistakes from time to time. Nobody's perfect. Secondly, and more importantly, let's take this into consideration, and I'll throw this in your direction, Swagoo. Listen to this. Um, even though DeAndre Hopkins is considerably younger, suppose he goes to Arizona and wet the bed next season. OK, that's not going to happen. We all know that's not going to happen. But hypothetically speaking, let's just say that does happen. Bill O'Brien won't look so bad all of a sudden. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.